Feels good. Uh, content. Overview. How to collect Tower of Dread cards, Mythics, and Legendaries. All cards. How to collect trinkets and boards. New mechanics. Dread points. Surely. Enter the Tower of the Dread at your own risk. Overview. This set brings 40 dreadfully new collectibles cards to the Ghost and Chain universe. And uh, including 7 Legendaries and their 7 Mythic variants. Complete your collection with 2 new Dread inspired trinkets and 2 exclusive boards sale concludes 28 days after the set is live so we're gonna have 28 days to make it happen um enter the tower of dread at your own risk have that in mind have that in mind let's assume this a little bit right shall we how to collect tower of dread cards notes for mythics and collector items please refer to later pages the sale is limited to 28 or until packs are sold out i wonder if they're gonna publish um the full amount of packs they're going to be selling tower of dread packs there are three types of packs available for for purchase either booster for two bucks premium for 20 bucks and shiny for 200 so what i like is it's a pretty easy number to understand it's 220 200 they are just adding zeros or in this case nines to that number which makes it kind of cool Shiny packs have a 125 chance versus booster packs of finding mythic variants. And out of these cards, I'll tell you which ones are the mythic variants. It's this one, this one, and this one. And then we have the Dreadlord. Lord, no, I am destruction itself. You know what's my like this, this guy looks like he's having fun. This guy looks like he's a comedian. He looks like the type of villain who's just laughing it out. And maybe he is that type of villain, so who knows? So easy to set round prices to think we're dumb. <laughs> I like round prices. What? Oh, you mean not 1999, but instead 20 and 200? Bro, it's psychology. It is It is started that way. It's meant to be that way, you know? Uh, Strongkind gonna turn on GU and burn all his mythics? No way he would do that. There's absolutely no way, but I would love to see it. Absolutely mad lad. Mythics and legendaries. Here we go. Off we go. Oh wait, did I miss the tab? Here we are. Only the strong survive. Here is the diamond version of the card and the mythic version of the card. Mythic variant. How to collect mythics? And this one is gonna be throughout Discord and Twitter or X. And this one is gonna be be given away through sealed mode by getting seven win rewards. So yet again. We are on a meta where getting seven wins feels super incredibly juicy. And I applaud to that. I always believe there, there must be an incentive to play sealed. And that's exactly what Jew is giving to us right now. But let's go to the next. Uh, oh, this get, they got those how to win every one, every single mythic card, which I like. Every single mythic variant. Um, Levicus. Levicus is the light one, it's pretty cool uh how to collect in shiny tower of dread packs so this one is gonna be obtainable through shiny packs um narcilla is gonna be collectible through any tower of dread packs but remember although narcilla can appear on any type of pack shiny packs have a 125 percent bigger chance of being obtained through shiny packs uh i mean to obtain mythic variants than normal packs so if you are trying to get this well first of all try to get the discount and second of all uh buy shiny packs because they're gonna have a bigger chance and how to get gideon is post lunch keep an eye out on our discord next so there's gonna be two cards that if you want to get them you gotta keep an eye on discord and twitter and the other ones are on packs and sealed so far so far let's keep it going and the last two mythic variants again shiny tower of dread packs uh which is the dreadlord and the last one which is countless de la Porte. low key i didn't rate countless de la Porte that high on utility there might be some hidden rush deception decks that love it but like i think from all the mythic variant Arts that I've seen, this is this is the the one that I enjoy the most. Maybe I just like the color purple, but like she's absolutely freakingly rocking this color and this team, man. Like the dread art looks weird, <laughs> but this one it just it just hits the spot for me. 
again, this one is going to be obtainable through Discord and Twitter, so or X, so you got to keep an eye on there. How to collect trinkets and boards? Um, let's go through it. I mean, you know, you know the drill, guys. You know the drill. We always have trinkets. We always have new boards. They look pretty cool. I like the Dread Portal trinket. I like this, but they also feel like they didn't really brought us anything super new. But you know what? I'm I'm hyped for these ones. I want to get them. Um, stream it out, streaming it, baby. After daily is made on YouTube. Absolutely. I guess it might be playable mutation now that I think. But you have to really have a few mutation. Like yeah, I think you can do so though. I think it's not that hard to do. Um, accumulate 200k dread points or more to be rewarded with the dread portal trinket. Additional multiples of 200k points uh, equal plus one portal trinket. So 450 points equal two portal trinkets. So what this means is, if you go overboard on the points, you're not getting another trinket. It drowns down. So either you fully have the amount or you're not getting anything. So if you stay on 199.999 points, I will suggest you to burn anything you have. Just don't burn the house because that might be troublesome. But just, you know, reach that milestone and also burn your cards accordingly. Understand which decisions make sense. And then Dread Automa Bond Trinket. For every 1k USD spent, be rewarded with the Dread Automa Bond Trinket. Additional multiples of 1k USD equal drawn one Dread Automa Bond Trinket. What I so this is it says this is money spent. Okay. Money spent does not translate into discounts. So I'm guessing if you spent one like 800, but then you say, oh, but I bought like 1k in cards. It's money spent, not like potential money used. It's actually how much money you, you ended up using on there. So this is exactly what you should have in mind. If you're going to spend 1K and try to get the Automa Bond trinket, you know, just have that in mind. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> but it says spent, so have that in mind, though. And then what else we got? If I have to buy five shiny packs, this might be a deal breaker. Well, you will have to buy not five shiny packs, but you'll have to buy six shiny packs because five with a discount will give you like what? Will give you a it's thirty five percent to one k, so it's like six hundred fifty k, like six hundred fifty USD spent on five packs. So if you wanted to get there, you would actually have to buy seven shiny packs. If you wanted to get there alone by just shiny packs value five shiny in one normal uh 135 each but you can only select one five or ten people were saying or people were saying or 100 so i guess you will be forced to buy 10 if you want to buy three then you need 3x discounts oh i get it now i guess so if you want to make it if you want to spend the 1k i guess you have to do like 10 and then you're gonna be spending like 12 1300 bucks if you buy 10 shiny packs, right? Because the goal is to, then the goal is to actually buy eight or buy seven and fill the other hole with packs. So, I, I mean, it depends how much you want the bunny, but that's the way it's gonna be working. And I, I think whatever, I think what you're saying is really interesting. Whether we get, I, sh I think Jiu should give us the option of buying the amount of packs we want and not just buy bundles because buying bundles is incredibly dumb but hopefully that's gonna be changed but yeah i mean hopefully g is gonna give us a chance of not being forced to buy bundles but instead go for something else we're gonna we're gonna see though the bundle the bundle thing is toxic i mean is it really the way it's gonna be i don't really know i guess it won't i don't think it makes a lot of sense so in a way Getting the Dread Automa Bone Trinket would be what? Like around exactly around ex like around eight shiny packs or seven shiny packs and a bunch of other packs. But you would have to buy the other packs without discount because you cannot buy normal packs and shiny packs on the same purchase. So have that in mind. Just a, just a little something to think about. And then these are the boards uh, you can actually get. So let's take a look. Uh, Ronella Ballroom Board. This looks pretty insanely neat. It reminds me of a Dieter. It reminds me of Jean. If you have ever played League of Legends, you know Jean, the one, two, three, four guy, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four guy. 
One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There you go. I said it four times. Collect the full Tower of Dread collection in different shines, and you shall receive the Vanilla Ballroom board. Um, so you have to get the full collection, which is tough. Now, depending on the amount on the quality of the collection you acquired is the amount of boards you will be having. So if you get the full collection on Meteorite, you get one board. If you get it on Shadow, you get two boards. You get it on Gold, you get five boards. And you get it on Diamond, you get 10 boards. Um, arguably, I don't know about this distribution though. I feel like it would make sense to make it one board and then five boards and then 10 boards and then no it would be like five one board five boards 25 boards and 125 boards low key it makes sense for me it could be wrong though maybe i'm biased but this is the way we're distributing them um one two five ten all diamond is over 100 boards. I mean, the thing is, getting a full collection of all diamond, it's tough. No one is even getting that. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough, you know? It's not easy to get a full collection of diamond. You're lucky to get one diamond collection, you know? I mean, a card, a, a legendary on diamond, you're lucky. That's pretty expensive. And then Enchanted Grove Void. Now, if you ask me, this looks way more luxurious. Let me zoom it out for you. This looks way more luxurious, but the one board I'm actually rooting for is this one. And you, you saw there, I said we're rooting because it's full of roots and green and trees and stuff. You know, forget about that. But this one looks so clean for me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nature player now. I'm a nature player. I'm not going to hide it anymore. I play shiny nature and this just goes with my goddamn vibes and it's exclusively found in the sealed mode cosmetic packs. And I, I hate that I like that because I won't be able to play it at the beginning, but at some point it's going to get way cheaper and I'm just going to be able to buy it at a pretty affordable price. So that's all I'm going to say. And uh, I think, is, is that it for the guide? No, we have one more, right? Oh no, yeah. Levicus, they show us Levicus here on the right side. Nature is gross. I ain't touching it. New mechanic, the dread points. Okay, this is interesting, but we already go through it. This is actually a pretty simple mechanic. You just burn your cards. Depending on the quality, you're going to be getting a higher multiplier. It depends on the quality of the card, the rarity of the card, and the set of the card. So... You get a specific amount of points depending on the set, Divine Order, Mortal Judgment, stuff like that. And then whether the card is rare, common, epic, or legendary, you get additional points that add up to the set uh, number. And then depending on the quality of the card, you get a multiplier. The first two numbers are adding themselves, and then the next two numbers will be multiplying themselves. Have that in mind. Let me show you. So here's how it goes. So like these ones are uh, the first number. This one will add up to this one. So for example, you go, you get a divine order card, and uh, it's epic. It's divine order plus epic. It's three hundred, and then you got it on gold. It's three hundred times twenty five, and then three three hundred times twenty five is gonna be like times time ten is three k. So it's going to be 6k, it's going to be 7.5k, 7.5k points, sorry, not good at math anymore. So 7.5k points, um, which will get you around between 5% discount and 10% discount. Now, I don't think the discount is going to be like an approach. Like, I, I feel like either you get the 5 and if you're on the middle, you just stay on the 5. I don't think you get like a fixed value, like... I think these are fixed values, so I don't think you're going to be like, oh, I got 1,800 points. I'm going to get like a 7.5% discount. I'm assuming it doesn't work that way, but it's not It's it's not clear to me yet. So the goal here is if you're going to make any big purchase, you want to get the 35% discount, which is around 60k points. And, and in order to do so, uh, we're going to discuss this, and I already did, and I'm going to show you. 
how to get there. We're going to talk about the dread points in a minute, which... What are dread points? Dread points are acquired through destruction. Once you once your cards have been destroyed, they can never return. Once you have acquired enough points, use them for discounts to the Tower of Dread expansion packs. So the point is, if you're going to be making a big purchase of cards, the goal is to get 35 discount, which is the max. So in here, you're going to have the dread points. This is a one purchase only thing. So you accumulate as much discount as you can. And then you buy as many packs on one single transaction as you can. Oh, but the thing is, it only works. It only works for a specific type of pack. So whatever you're going to go for, you have to decide for it. 25% discount is an exceedingly strong number. You know, it's actually really big. If you get there, though, you have to get like, what, 6K of dread points, which is like crazy. I think it's 6K or 60K. It seems 1.4 is like 5. This might be wrong, though. I think it might be 6K or 60K. I'm not really sure. You're supposed to get as much points, get as big of a discount, and then buy either a bunch of premium packs, a bunch of booster packs, or a bunch of shiny packs. But make sure whatever purchase you make it's literally the biggest one you can afford to do so you get the most out of the discount because once you make the purchase all of your dread points are going to be gone and if you want to buy another batch of cards you basically have to burn a lot of other cards and remember in order to get dread points is by burning cards from higher quality from any set uh, and by higher quality i mean shadow gold diamond and etc right so that's interesting. I wonder if you can burn mythic variants. Probably no, but I wonder. Um, and then what's the next slide? Let's see what they have up next for us. Yeah, so here's the discount. 5% off using your dread points. Are you going to be forced to use the dread points? Can you decide to make a small purchase first and then wait it out and make a, a bigger purchase later? It seems like to me you're going to be forced to use the points immediately. Dreadful discount, insufficient points, uh, current points, 1400. So I wonder if you can actually toggle this option on and off and just pick something different. That would be interesting. Maybe it's going to be allowed. Maybe you have to make the big purchase the moment you get this. It's something to look into because I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to like gather a lot of dread points and then just you know use them all in one big buy but before that sometimes I like to gamble with like buying one shiny pack like maybe two premium packs maybe maybe one booster pack and see what your luck looking like i don't know that's a me thing oh is that it that is that it how to how to apply the discount how to buy packs and uh okay yeah looks really interesting overall overall interesting material well that was easy